Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Shut the music off before I get demonetized. So, potatoes and carrots on the stove. Carrots from a local market. I brought home hydrangeas to dry. I'll show you what they look like because they're super pretty. So it's Monday. And there's the Molly. Molly! Molly! Yeah, no. Not doing it. Aren't they so pretty? Ugh, I love them. So gorgeous. So I think my intent for these ones is actually to live in that basket, but I'm not sure. We'll see. In the meantime, I'm kind of meal prepping. Kind of, but not really. At the same, you need to be higher. I need to put you on something. So I am making vegan cheese sauce. This is my favorite. I am not vegan. I am mostly vegetarian, not entirely, but this vegan cheese sauce is amazing. It's carrots, potatoes, white beans, or cashews, plant milk, plant milk, is there any plant milk? No, no plant milk, water, lemon, onion, garlic, salt. Anyway, if you want the recipe for it, just let me know down below and I'll type it out. It's not mine. It's from a girl called Plantiful Kiki. And if you haven't watched her, and if you are vegetarian, or maybe you're not and you just want some new recipes, go watch her. She has the most amazing recipes. So I need four tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Measuring is really not my thing. I need onion powder, garlic powder, and salt. Now, one time I used garlic salt instead of garlic powder. It's a big mistake. So I have garlic powder. I do not have onion powder. I think that's what it is that I'm missing. Dill, dill, sage. Seasoned salt, that'll do. Um, what else? Oh, regular salt. Two teaspoons, that'll do. Garlic powder, two teaspoons. I better measure that, I, I just better. Cause you know, sometimes I overestimate and we're gonna do that. Seems all right. It is, it's fine. I had to buy a can of white beans because I didn't have any. I've got you over here because the lighting's better. So this is the current like mess in my kitchen. So that's the recipe. Carrots, um, I needed a half a cup of carrots and this is what I bought. And I already actually uh, have two of them in the pot cooking. This one looks like a good one for me to eat or for Molly to eat. She loves carrots. Ooh, maybe I can get her to come over and make a guest appearance if there's a carrot involved. Hold on. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh yeah. She took it, but she didn't want anything to do with the camera. Okay, you guys. So I'm sitting in my vehicle eating my very unhealthy lunch. And I would like your opinion on something. Paper straws, yay or nay? Nay. Reason being, before anybody bites me for being anti-paper straw, Here's my thing. Paper holds moisture. Moisture, bacteria, mold, mildew, germs, things, stuff that we don't really want, you know, in our mouth. Um, so yeah, like what's the manufacturing process on these? 
um, if they're shipped and in shipping, if they get damp, what is, what's the process there? What's happening? And there's my fork. Are they being sprayed with something to keep them from molding and mildewing? If they are being sprayed with something, what is that something? There's people watching me. I'm still weird about this in public. So yeah. Love to know how you feel about the paper straws. It's not a bad concept. I don't mind the concept. But I just feel like there's other things that we could have dealt with before we dealt with paper straws. Also, don't make my fork any flimsier, okay? I can't handle that. They can only go tougher from here. But lids, we could do a lot with lids, I feel like. Um, hmm, we could do a lot with a lot of things, but not. I'm, I'm a no on the paper straw. So <laughs> let me know down below how you feel about the paper straws. Also, since it's a public place and people are watching me and I feel weird because I'm sitting in a Walmart parking lot. Who doesn't eat in the Walmart parking lot? It's kind of fun. Anyway, uh, how do you feel about vlogging in public? Like if you were to see me go in, go into the Walmart, the Walmart, and be vlogging, holding my camera, talking to it. What are you thinking? Are you gonna be like, who's she? So, those are my deep dark thoughts for today. I am gonna eat my KFC poutine that I am soon gonna regret, and I'll talk to you later. So while I'm eating, something else that's heavy on my noggin, see what I did there? <clears throat> is the pandemonium, which I heard it referred to on TikTok. And I assume that's so that the censoring doesn't pick up on it. But I don't, I don't, I don't want to know. I don't care. Are you vaxxed? Are you not? Are you gunny? Are you not? Are your clients, are you letting them in if they are, if they aren't? I don't care. Are you washing your hands after you use the bathroom? I don't, I don't give a shit. Whatever. What I want to know is how are you changing the subject with your client? Are you talking about this all day long? Or are you changing the subject? If you are changing the subject, how are you doing so? Are you coming outright and saying, I want to talk about it? Are you being emotional and saying, hey, this really upsets me, adds to my anxiety, please let's not talk about it. Are you just changing the subject? Or are you, I don't know, what are you, like, what are you doing? How are you handling that? Shoot, I also feel like I should say, since I'm eating and talking to you, that I do have something called Marcus gun jaw eye wink syndrome or some fool thing like that. I don't, makes my eye move when I chew. So that happens. Also fun fact, I can't read and chew gum because it doesn't like affect my vision, but up close if I'm chewing like toffee kind of chewing or gum then it like blurs my vision just a little. I think it's because I wear contacts and it moves the contact. But anyway, that's what's happening there. Um, anyway, I'm just sitting here with the radio off, eating, watching people. And I'm wondering. There's like a whole gang of kids here with dirt bikes too. It's kind of weird. But I'm, I'm here for it. I love it. So yeah, no, that's that's what I'm thinking about. That's what's, that's what's on my mind. And I was just wondering how you guys are doing that because it gets, it's so tiring. And people's opinions sometimes are very aggressive. And I'm not here for the aggression of it. Um, I'm actually a really neutral person. Like, 
everybody does something based on what they consider to be facts in their mind at the time. And that's fine. I'm gonna get a sunburn. Um, but it's just the people that are aggressive about their opinions that I get uncomfortable with and I, I don't wanna talk about it all day, every day. Really, if I had my way, I wouldn't talk about it at all. But anyway, just curious, just curious what you're doing. I'd love to know, like, since you guys are in different parts of the world, you're not just in my community and just in my, like, my province and basically, like, going through what we're going through right at this moment. So it's cool to get other people's perspective. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today's a big day. It's late, it's quarter after eight. This is a really late start for me. Normally I start, yesterday I was here at six. Normally I start early. I didn't film anything yesterday. It just didn't feel like there was anything to film. <clears throat> but this morning, lots. So I have a mini kind of haul from AR Nail Supply. I have an Amazon package that came in that's very exciting to me. And I have coffee to drink. That's also very exciting. Okay. And, oh, that's really good today. I'm getting my hair done. And my hairdresser and I both exchange presents for our doggies. So it's my doggie's birthday in July, and she brought me a present for her. So it was her doggie's birthday last week. So I kept the bag, <laughs> so we're using the same bag. And I got Rui a toy. I would squeak it, but I know you people are watching with your dogs. You people, why would I say that? And I bought her a cookie, like one of those pet store cookies. So I cannot wait to take that to her. So Misty, her name is Misty, in case you needed to know. Let's move the iPad. I also, we have some changes that's up today. So if I'm not mistaken, I could be. The changes as of today in New Brunswick are mandatory masks in indoor public spaces, proof of vaccination in places. I don't know which places because I am vaccinated and I have my proof of vaccine with me so I can use it when I need it. Um, so I've chosen not to put too much thought into that. Also, proof of vaccination is not yet for here in the salon. I don't know where you have to have it, but I believe all non-essential places other than, I don't know. It's fine. I'm going to check on it this morning before the day starts. So let's talk about the fun things. I have the classic Werther's original from Kathy, and she also sent me some flat back golden, golden something gems. They're like a teardrop and they're really pretty. So I'm super excited to be able to use those. I got monomer, boring, bubble wrap, not boring. I got a gel polish brush. This I believe is an Ugly Duckling student brush. It's not marked, but the Ugly Duckling student stuff is like lesser, I don't want to say lesser quality handle because there's nothing wrong with the quality, but it's not as blingy. It's not as blingy of a handle, but I believe the brush is the same. Why is my air conditioning running? Hold up, hold on. Gosh, we can't have that yet. All right, so I have the brush. I got those for the unbelievable gels, mostly for potted gels. It's unbelievable that I'm using right now. I have a bag of drill bags. So I have three. Michelle ordered two, my coworker. I wanted one, so she's getting two, I'm getting one. I just, I needed a new one. When we came back after the break, I started using different stuff in my ultrasonic cleaner <clears throat> unit to clean my drill bits with and it's really, it's really been hard on them. I also got two of the skiver bits, um, the cuticle bits, they're a medium. Super excited about these because my my cuticle bit was kind of going a little bit too. And it was time, it was man too. What else do I have here? I have Ugly Duckling files because you all know how obsessed I am with those. Those need to go straight into my drawer. 
I have the Alexandria Small Powder Free Nitrile Gloves. The best. The best gloves. The best. I'm gonna put those right in my drawer as well. Oh, just turned on my light. Um, I also have a, oh yes, I got a, a random gel polish. I got 67 because it is the nudiest nude. It is absolutely perfection for base, for nail art, for any season. If somebody says, I want nude nails, and I show them this, and they don't take it, I'm always a little like, <coughs> anyway, 67, if you're looking for the nudiest nude. <laughs> and I got powder, so monomer, polymer, powder, liquid, all the science. And that, my friends, is it for this haul. But, hold on a second, I literally brought a duffel bag this morning to bring everything in. Because that's how I roll. Some of you might not care about this. Wow. Amazon really outdoes himself sometimes. So let's get into this. Know that I have been running. I've showed it a little bit in a couple of my vlogs. I didn't want to like drown you guys in running footage. Holy Moses. So I got a vest. I got like a hydration vest because I want to start trail running this fall now that it's cooler. And on top of that, when I'm running long distances, um, I want to be able to have, it's not like you have purse or pockets. I have a personal alarm. I have a phone. I have snacks if I'm going that far. Water if I'm going that far keys if I'm out of the house and my Jeep keys are huge. I have things. I have things. I have stuff. I need a Kleenex. <laughs> so I got this and I, I really think it's going to be great. It's light, super light. It seems like it's breathable. Um, they give you a sweet little place for an ID card. So that's cool. There's a little pocket here that I can use for like snacks or my alarm. There's a zippered pocket for a phone. Ooh. Yeah, 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 my phone. No, no, phone's not gonna fit in there. Phone will, however, fit in here. Oh, nice, and it's got a, so the phone will fit in here and it has a draw cord on it. So you're not zipping and unzipping. And it has reflective detail on it in case I stay out too late, which I really like to run in the evening, so I could see that happening. It has a little, I don't know what the heck that is. What are these things? They're in the front of it. I'm gonna have to look that up. Another pocket, another pocket that is Velcroed. Oh, that's cool. The other side, it's Velcroed. Then the panel in the back not only has a pocket, it has a zippered pocket. And this, oh wait, I know what those are for now, I think. This is open in the back and it's for the water where you can put your water. So yeah, that's pretty stinking cool. I need to drink my coffee and my client will be here anytime. And I will catch you guys all a little bit later. Oh, I'm so happy with that.